All right, so we are going to continue with theme for today and tomorrow. Um, I know it's been hard to get online for us because we've been testing the students here. Um, so the past couple of days, it's been, you know, get on iReady, make up any of your missing work, those types of things. So we'll get back into it today. Um, and with theme, remember, it's the lesson to be learned. So what lesson did the characters need to learn, but us as well? It needs to be worded universally so that all of us can learn from it. Okay, so um, it's hidden in the story, just like um, uh, I like to think of a cupcakes might be filled with cream in the middle. You know it's there, but you can't see it. Okay, so you have to take a guess at what you think um, the lesson needed to be learned in the story was um, based on maybe some challenges the characters face, um, how their problems were fixed, maybe some things they realized in the story. So we'll go ahead and read. Um, it's called Rushmore. And obviously the stuff is looking a little um, little harder or a little more complex because I really want to prepare you um, when you guys do take this state test as well. Um, so the words might be a little harder. The text might be a little harder to understand. The questions might be a little longer and more complex, and that's okay. Okay, all I'm asking is that you try your best. Um, and as long as I'm getting effort, that is okay with me. So read the text and use the study buddy and the close reading to guide your reading. So Rushmore. This summer, my parents planned a trip for us to visit Mount Rushmore. Our sixth grade class had studied Mount Rushmore and a visit there sounded really boring. Last summer, we went to a theme park and I went on about 50 rides. Now I was supposed to, now I was supposed to enjoy staring at a huge carved rock. As we drove to the airport, I prepared myself for the boredom that I would have to endure over the next week. A few hours later, we landed in Rapid City, and we spent the afternoon driving through a wildlife park where we saw all kinds of amazing creatures. I was starting to think this trip might not be a huge waste of time after all. Seeing the animals was fascinating, but nothing could prepare me for what we saw the next day. We drove about 30 miles to Mount Rushmore, I knew that Mount Rushmore was a mountain with the faces of the presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln carved into its side. I've seen statues of famous people before. I didn't know these would be any different, but boy, did I find out. When I saw the monument for the first time, I felt frozen in my tracks. Mount Rushmore is simply majestic. The size of the carvings is astonishing. Each head is about 60 feet high. I never thought anything could top the theme park adventure I had last year, but now I know that sometimes a big rock can actually take my breath away. All right, so we're gonna look, we're gonna look at our study buddy here and just see what he has to say. Maybe the author is giving clues about the theme by showing how the main character changes. I'm going to underline details that show the main character's feelings change. So he underlined things such as, I was starting to think this trip might not be a huge waste of time after all. So in the beginning, he was like, oh, I'm preparing myself for boredom. This is going to be so boring. I never wanted to go here. And now he said he's starting to think that um, it might be fun. It might not be a huge waste of his time. They also underlined, I didn't know why this would be any different, but boy, did I find out. And there he was talking about the statues. He said he's seen statues before, but nothing like this. It was amazing to him. So. Close reading, why does the narrator think the family trip will be boring? Underline the sentence that explains why the narrator is not looking forward to the trip. So we know in the beginning of the story is when he was really negative about it. And in the first paragraph, I remember he said, our sixth grade class had studied Mount Rushmore and a visit there sounded really boring. That tells me right there um, why he thought it was boring. Um, and why he was not looking forward to their trip. So I'm going to highlight that. So all of these details we're identifying is helping us find the theme. So why? what is the narrator's final opinion of Mount Rushmore as a place to see and visit? Circle words or phrases that describe the narrator's opinion at the end of the story. So we got to go to the end to find this. Um, and the, some of the words he says was he felt frozen in his tracks. Mount Rushmore is simply majestic. Astonishing is another word he used, and it could actually take my breath away. 